shall we continue? Let's. So, rat babies are done. If you said no, I was gonna just walk out. So why'd you ask? The illusion of control. Uh, yeah, so we solve rat it's babies. It's important. Humans and need the illusion of control. Otherwise, they rebel. It's what keeps us sane, really. Um, so we have we have hangouts, I think. Yep. We have, I feel like we haven't hung out with the with the main crew in a while. Well, because they're the last thing of the day, and we had that uh, jam session. That's true. I mean, it's a jam session to me. It's practice to them. Because I'm just figuring out whatever the fuck on the fly. That's really neat, actually. What do you think? When you think about it, yeah. it was fun for you. Yep, we had a conversation uh, no. with Ma Max. Uh, God, I was forgetting her name. Cool character. Unfortunately, forget your name. It's it's girl dancing. Mylon. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, so who did we have a proper time with last time? I believe it was B. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to investigate the spooky the spookatorium. Yeah, and that means I wanted to go see um uh, uh, our buddy. Who I usually don't get to hang out with. So, not B and not Greg's. Angus. Angus. Yeah, I, I hung out with him for this section. It's it's a pretty... I don't know, it's an interesting one. So... Alright, well, let's find out. Bow, bow. Angus! So, I said I could, like, take you up on the park. You did indeed! Ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited... <laughs> Are you? Yeah, we never get to. We literally never get to hang out. Yeah, I, you remember you spent like like days not being around. Yeah, I've been hanging out with Greg so much. It'll be nice to actually get to know you a little bit better. For real. I'm pretty great. Go something with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well. Ghosts don't exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Well, you yeah, know, if it's a zombie or a Frankenstein, not really. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast. <laughs> that's, that's a podcast about ghosts. <laughs> This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus. Who doesn't believe me? <laughs> I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> I just, like, zoomed in before it's even done. The park. Oh, yeah, this 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 is this is a, this is is an adventure here. Don't Come go on. to the park after dark. No. It's illegal. It's all right. My mom used to take me up here to play Frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once at full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. May does that a lot. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Before we were using rocks and sharp pieces of paper. Yeah. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. I mean, yeah, that clearly, clearly, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. <laughs> it's it's a weird old place up here, man. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Ugh. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. I, I, that reminds me of the time I had to go to the, um, was it Beavers? I think it was Cubs or Beavers. I think it was Beavers. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those that, uh, that aren't, uh, Canadian, Beavers is like... Cub the, Scouts. The, the pre, the pre-Scouts. Boy Scouts. Whatever. Yeah, pre-Boy Scout stuff. For little baby idiots mm -hmm. like me. I um, was, I was a Pathfinder. I've never heard of that's way more epic than you should get. Yeah, because that's the church's version of it. Oh, I should have gone for that. Yeah. Cause what happens? You go up to a girl. I'm a beaver. Yeah. I'm a pathfinder. Yeah. Well, the girls were not the brownies, but <laughs> I forgot their name. S yeah. You all right? Yeah, I got. I got asthma as well. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. 
Didn't you run cross country back in junior high? Yeah, but I never finished. <laughs> Why'd you keep doing it? I have no idea. <laughs> what is this thing? This is like uh, a, a lime kiln, I think. Kiln. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I know what those both are, but I guess, yeah. Like yeah. a furnace. Furnace for what? Limestone. Well, ah. Uh, yes. You like do something. And what you like do something, and it becomes like this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because. Uh, it's mostly made of skeletons or like sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this was all underwater or something at, at one point. Oh, <laughs> no, way. no way! I mean, rocks don't lie. Like right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Always remember that if you ever kill somebody, you can spread lime powder on the area when you're cleaning it up. Why do you know this? Well, I mean, TV, movies. Mm -hmm. what are, what's over here? What? I th I'm assuming the edge of the screen. Yeah, will it just stop me? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you never, you never can tell. This world's boundaries are limitless and at the same time incredibly limited. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe the camera would have pulled, you know? Mm -hmm. Here's another one. <laughs> Need to take a break. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's deeper. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so deep. <laughs> <laughs> so if this place was like underwater, then why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here, man? Oh no, uh, there might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. And to think all that crazy stuff was going on up here is like, whoa. There's always more weird stuff that happened. To find out about later. Okay. Ready to go. Cool, cool. Look how slow he's walking. Actually, it's quite fast. <laughs> Never mind. But I can still beat him. Yeah, you can beat him. Oh, 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 oh. Weezer. <laughs> are, are, are you that's like sure? Me, that's like me at one day at a con. <laughs> are you sure you're going to be okay? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Puff, puff! Dude, seriously, it's it's fine, man. Just hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creatures or rocks or whatever. Lime. Who's thrown? Who? Yeah, I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. That's awesome. What happened? Yeah, it was full up. Of course it was. My class fills up <laughs> fast. I bet. Man. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animal. Well, they used to be until this fuck is now saying these this this propaganda. <laughs> Things I don't are so wanna, scary and cool. Back I'm not gonna we read sand, this part. I know we just sandbag everything we don't want to hear. Yeah, yeah. We die in like five minutes. Uh. Oh yeah, ancient creatures eat us no problem. That's fine. That's a fine line. Yeah. Be God for the millions of years between us. Oh yeah. Weird. Time, man. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Man, I... Like, some things make me shake with anger <laughs> at how ludicrous and lame that they are. It's fine. Whoa, that escalated. Did. Escalator real quick. Well... We're gonna find some fucking spooks, maybe. Well, it's the egg show. That was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. It used to be open back then. Ready to go? Oh, so deep! No, no, not far now. It's just up ahead. 
it's nice that we're finally spending a, a night in the woods. Yeah. We didn't get to do that. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were, uh, I forgot. They were involved in the... In the Possum Massacre. <laughs> that, like, labor strike thing that Wooly read about. Yeah, but what if, what if, what if, what if the Possum Massacre was just everyone playing cover dead? cover-up? What if it was all the possums playing dead? What what do possums call that? They playing, call it just playing dead. Playing. <laughs> doing me. <laughs> I'll just do me. Where it was I'm like the me. miners I'm versus the me. National Guard. Yeah. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think there was, they were the bad guys. And some of the miners didn't want them to be buried in town? Um. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. Hmm. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. How does America handle that? No, yeah. Okay. I guess... Nah, eh, just bones. These Civil War soldiers go here and those ones go there. I guess that's how they do it. I, I guess so. Shark balls! That's not correct. Yeah, see, nothing left to be scared. That's a fool. A fool says that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'd be scared of this. I'm a fucking style on them. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a motherfucking style boy. Look at that. Look at that. Who wants to fuck with this in the night? You can't. You, you saw can't that coming at you? With, you can't fuck with Star Girl here. <laughs> You see that? She's literally Star Girl because we look at constellations. Crazy eyes. Nightmare eyes. We're really high. I mean, wow, we're really up high. I mean, up, we're up really high. Really big highs. Whew. Really far out. I can see town. It's south of us behind whatever ridge that is. So, uh. We just like supposed, supposed to, to sit wait here and here wait. And See if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Seriously, light pollution sucks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. Man <laughs> You do know so... the constellations. So, uh, my girl tells a really got. funny story about when they were out camping, mm -hmm. and they were, like, they're having their one of those, like, all-nighter type things or whatever, and so they, you know, and then they, you know, slept for a little bit, because they didn't, it was a full nighter, got up nice and early, and it was still dark, and they're looking at the stars and stuff, and then eventually they're walking and hiking and saw, like, you know, the, 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 cr the crack of dawn, you know, and they're just right. like, oh, man, it's so awesome to be out here in the woods where you can see the stars, and then eventually... Like, the stars give way and you actually get to see the daylight starting to crack and, you yeah. know, like, the sun coming up. And it's just, she's just going on about how beautiful it is. And as they keep walking, it's like, that was just the sign of a Walmart over the trees. <laughs> oh, the cracking <laughs> and of it, the And it was just the light from the Walmart sign that was making That's amazing. it. That's amazing. And it was just like, oh. No, no, <laughs> shut up. Everything is yeah. a miracle. No, it was a Canadian tire. That's what it was. Okay. It was the sign of a Canadian tire that was creating light pollution. And they thought, and she was going on about how majestic nature was. And it's like, you got fucked. Shut up. Canadian <laughs> tire is majestic in its own way. It, it might as well be a part of nature. What? You know all the names and stories and stuff? I wish. I could never remember them uh, other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all in the longest night? We were all at that longest night bonfire? How was that? And we spotted constellations together. You told us about them. That's not a thing that happened. Wow. Okay, maybe that was like a dream or something. God, I barely even remember now. I can't even remember. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you must have dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay, then. But I already know a bunch of real ones because of telescope. I wonder if they'll still be there. Telescope Cheskov. All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones? Wait, no, or fake ones. Just ones I remember. 
Or the dream, or the dreamed one time. Uh, oh, here comes the whichever co cosmic music. Remember, Mr. Chazkov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives under. He lives under. He lives in Underhill. He has a telescope on his roof, and I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. I think you have to, like, draw the lines, connect the dots. Oh my god, I will never get that right. That's crazy. Boy, man. I'm sure you can. Okay, is it line by line? Yeah, it is. You can't do the whole thing in one shot. Or that might, may actually make it easier that way. Yeah, if it doesn't connect, it might not. It might not even be be the like, right one. The okay. Right one. Okay. That yeah. <laughs> it's a cat. He's got arrows sticking in him. He's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name though. He lived. Uh, you uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? No. Uh, it was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, Adina, and, uh... Oh, yeah, Adina in the frozen lake! Yeah, yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there, like, shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was, ass cat when I was little. <laughs> uh, well then, he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death, but he was, like, slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Willie, what would happen if your soul uh, possessed your body Isn't after that you died? Isn't that just called being alive? Uh, that's the best. Uh, decent. Extremely decent. Bam. This kind of reminds me of Mario Galaxy a bit. The little shiny yeah. star noise is like yeah. when you um, collect star bits and stuff. I feel like... Uh, NDT should be here teaching us about what we're doing. Maybe he knows about Land in the Woods. Maybe he's into it. What kind of animal would he be? A yak. Like a buffalo? A buffalo. That'd work too. Or like a badger. Like a... Like, you know the badger in, in Wind in the Willows is super nice to everybody? But he's, like, wise. It's a pope. Fire Wait, pope. wasn't he in, wasn't he in Zootopia as a character? He might have been, he might have been. I he was already remember. an animal, and I forgot what it was. Yeah, I forgot what it was, too. He breathes fire. Oh, not that button. No, never that button. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is... Rubello. Yeah, right. Bellos. There's a statue of him outside church. Yeah! Right, right, Fire right. god. Oh, he never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Why not? Those are like events. Yeah, it's like uh, mass, Easter, and uh, Christmas church visits, but that's about it. Hmm. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since she was like 14 or, well, I was 14 or 15. Does she mind, or...? She pretends not to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Man, I remember when, like, I was... I always used to think about that, like, friends that would only show up, um... to, to church on days when it was a uh, part of like a celebration or a thing or, you know, like a Christmas holiday or whatever the fuck. Like, basically, you had to go to church because the thing was there. Yeah, and I just thought everyone was going because they wanted to, <laughs> right? And I was like, well, if you're only going on those days, then that means you don't really give a shit and you don't believe and, like, you're just... Why even pretend to follow at that point? Why not just not follow? Because yeah. it's at the church. And, like, and like I didn't understand the concept of, like, pseudo-religious parenting being like, okay, kids... Uh, we're gonna take you and, like, make you go 
and not really enforce it the rest of the year because we don't really believe either. Yeah, that's what, but we that's wanna, what my parents do. But we want to kind of give you some sort of semblance of what we think is a moral uh, uh, um, a, a guideline to follow. And yep. it was like, but what you're teaching me is to be half-assed in my beliefs. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, like there's so, a certain nobility in that. So as a kid, I was always like, what the fuck? You know? Yeah, there's the bell one he talked about. Okay, that's a bell. You know what have really got me into church? What? If it got me out of school on a weekday. I could hear that. Because I'd rather that. go to church than school back at that age. But no, it was more time to dedicate to not playing with toys. <laughs> yes! And you know what else you missed out on? What? Saturday morning cartoons. Who never got to watch them? This guy. Now, I didn't have to miss them a whole bunch, but I did have to miss them for a lot for swimming lessons. Which were at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturdays for a couple of summers. So I missed a bunch of that. I'll never forget when I turned the TV on for one second. And it was, <laughs> it was the one second that I saw. Oh, well, you gotta solve this because it's too real. <laughs> it's too raw and nasty. I turned it on for one second. <laughs> And on that one second, I saw Whoa. Mega Man charging a Mega Buster up and pointing it at me. And I fucking lost it. And I went, there's a Mega Man cartoon! It was really, really And rough. that cartoon's amazing. Yeah, I didn't know anything. But I saw Mega Man on TV in cartoon form for the first time. No, but then Jesus puts his hand over your eyes and just ushers you out of the room. <sighs> The last thing I got to watch every Friday was Family Matters. And then... That's and then, a good runner-up. And then uh, Captain Scarlet would start. Yep, yep, yep. And, and then that's around the time the sun would set, and then that was the end of it. <laughs> Looking at you. Okay, that's... Um, I know this one a little from, like, Prague Rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think the world ends with you. That makes sense. It's going to be really loud. <laughs> There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually. Yeah, you haven't seen Attack of the Clones. Fuck you. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means um, we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. Get the jerky down. Get the jerky down. It's all down. There you go. Whoa. Hey, Lord. It's a whale. It's a whale. It's got, like, the world on its back. It's whales all the way down. Oh, wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Because he's the biggest. Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space! I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. No, it's not! Always get mad at ancient people! Fuck those people! What did they contribute? Nothing! Useless assholes. <laughs> oh, I happened in the past and then I died. Fucking worthless. Thanks for nothing, idiots. Thanks for chipping in. Good job. Thanks for finally contributing. <laughs> We're like way out here, huh? And when there's like some ancient person that was like, I was really important and smart. Yeah? If you're really important and smart, how come you're dead? Super dead. In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for... So he's kind of like a little bit like um, uh, Ronaldo in Steven Universe, but also not like him at all, where he doesn't believe in, in crazy shit. Uh, and people have really tried. Do Keep you... Awesome Springs weird. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? 
Oh, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. I'm like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Oh, my dad used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> she, like, shoved me into the pantry and slammed the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She locked me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. And I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like it started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing? Like being abused? Angus, it's not your fault, man. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I, I know that now. But boy, do I ever. Question Can I go kick all the asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up, right proper quick. <laughs> well, my mom is kind of old now. I, uh, so I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't even want to know about it. I guess I want to give you a hug forever. Haha, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question... Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry uh, made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science and I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. I'm sad. <laughs> that was really sad. A little sad. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, I can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No. No no ghosts or gods. So, like... I feel like if I had been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe... In anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations, I don't, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines between, uh, lines through between spaces. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. And we like really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So, I believe in a universe that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God. But, like, God found them. Man. Like, when they were having bad times, like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. I got rid of all the porn on your laptop. But I'm no <laughs> more than anyone else. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Uh... Yep. Hey! Okay. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. Uh, In the trees. Mm, holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. 
I'm more worried about it being a live person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god. Oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night! He's, he's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? It's definitely a little hostile. Hey! <laughs> I know what you did! Mate, no, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna just run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. Roar! <laughs> they just run past him. That's a shitty relatable upbringing this guy's got. Mm. And that dude's just... Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. oh, there you go. Uh, huh.